piece. We got all our boards cut. All of them are square. All of them are ready to be rabbit jointed and put together. A couple of people ask why we do rabbit joints. It is a lot quicker than box joints. These are all for our personal use. Um, talking with some carpenters have been doing this a long time. They actually prefer the rabbit joint for the simple reason that you have less end grain exposed. The only end grain that's going to be exposed is this little piece right here. So this one's already been rabbited. That board will cover up the adjoining board. Therefore, you've only got this little bitty end grain showing. We've had box joints and rabbit joints. Where in eastern North Carolina, humidity is terrible. The heat isn't anything, they tell you, the humidity is key. So I have seen the box joints literally rip screws through when the board tried to warp. We're gluing these and stapling them. And we haven't had any issues thus far. So we're, I'm doing the side for the rabbit joints, this for the flat frame rest. I'm actually doing this a sixteenth deeper, just for the simple fact I don't want to go through and plane all these boards. Gives us a little more uh, comb on top of our frames. We inspect weekly, bi-weekly at the latest, and we just clean it off and we'll melt it down and do something else with it. So it's not really a big deal for us. So we have... 200 of these to do, so three cuts on each board, another 600 cuts. I've got my, my jig set up for this, already got it set, and we'll show you real quick how that goes. <laughs> share like please subscribe we need all the su subscribers we can get next time we see you we'll be putting one of these together well 100 of them together y'all have a good day and stay warm thank you